Hello, this is Shane with Kindeco. Thank you for joining my session. Today I'm going to show you the Kindeco Room Finder and how easy it is to use with Exchange. So I'm in Office 365. As I look at a date, I would select the times that I want, open new appointment, create subject of the reservation, From here, I would look for my invitees, internal, external, it doesn't make a difference. Once I've added the people to the reservation, instead of going through the traditional room finder, Kindeco added this really easy feature here called Kindeco Room Finder. This is downloaded from the Microsoft App Source Store. It's compatible with Office 365, it's compatible with Macintosh it's, or Apple, and it's also compatible with Windows. When you click on that room finder, it's going to pull up all of your available rooms based on your profile settings. So instead of having to see all thousand rooms throughout the organization, I could quickly book a room. Let's go behind the scenes real quick. So right now I'm looking at the 17th floor in my New York office. Under my profile, it has New York, location New York, and 17th floor. I could have quickly picked another country. I could have picked another location. We also have the ability to search based on attributes of rooms. So it's not native within Exchange, but we've added this functionality where I can only find a room that has a conference room phone or a Teams room. Once I go ahead to pick that room, what you're gonna notice here is it adds the room resource just like you normally would in Exchange. So now we could support Teams, we could support Zoom. Reservations could be also made via Teams or Zoom on the back end and they would all push over to the Kindeco database system. So here, uh, if you notice, it updated the reservation location. It added my information for my Zoom, and there's actually a Teams here as well. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and book another room. Simply click on book another room. Could be in the same facility, or I could choose across the country. Let's look at my California location. Let's go ahead and click done. And then from here, I add one of those other rooms. Now those rooms could be enabled as Teams rooms, ultimately hit send, and that reservation's been created. And that would go in my calendar as well as my colleague calendars. Let's do that again real quick just to see it. So again, we'll put in a subject. I would go ahead and add my invitees, look at their free busy information. Once I figured out a time that works, I would go ahead and click on the room finder. It's gonna show me the available spaces. From here, what I do is I then go ahead and add my tunes or zoom, and then I'm finished. It's that simple. Please let us know if you have any questions.